everyone, I'm Mike Barner from Osmo.com. Unfortunately, a common theme across the NFL in Week 2 was injuries. We're not just talking about minor ones either, as some of the league's biggest stars are set to miss multiple weeks. That means we're going to need to attack the waiver wire, so let's discuss some of the top options to consider for this week. Be sure to like this video and also comment with who you're targeting to help your fantasy squad. The top waiver wire option is Mike Davis of the Carolina Panthers. Unfortunately, that means the consensus number one overall pick in fantasy football heading into the season and Christian McCaffrey is going to be on the sidelines. He suffered a high ankle sprain against the Bucs and is expected to miss four to six weeks. Now, Davis only had one carry after McCaffrey went down, but he caught all eight of his targets for 74 yards. Curtis Samuel should also see some action out of the backfield and Reggie Bonifant will probably be activated from the practice squad, but Davis is their top option moving forward. Another running back to target on the waiver wire is Jarek McKinnon of the San Francisco 49ers. The 49ers have just been hammered by injuries this season, and it's been on both sides of the ball. They're currently dealing with injuries to Nick Bosa, Richard Sherman, Jimmy Garoppolo, and last week they lost two key running backs against the Jets in Raheem Mostert and Tevin Coleman. Now, they both suffered knee injuries and are expected to be sidelined for at least week three, with the potential that both could have multi-week absences. That means McKinnon, who is a dual threat in both the running and the passing game, is an attractive fantasy option moving forward. He also has a great matchup in Week 3 against the Giants, who have one of the worst run defenses in the league. One of the biggest injuries from a fantasy football perspective last week was the Giants losing running back Saquon Barkley for the season with a torn ACL. Now, I don't expect the Giants to try and replace Barkley with just one player. Deion Lewis received the carries after he went down, but that was because Wayne Gallman was a healthy scratch. Moving forward, look for Gallman to be their running back on first and second downs, with Lewis coming in on third down and in passing situations. The Giants could also add a third name to the backfield as they're reportedly set to meet with free agent running back Devontae Freeman. For that reason alone, I wouldn't blow your free agent budget on Lewis, although he is an attractive option in PPR leagues. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to hit the like button and comment with your top wave wire option for week three. Also, be sure to head over to Osmo.com for my full list of wave wire options.